All right. Let's do it like that. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. This is Joshua Kirk back with you once again. And it's time for episode two of Album of the Day. And uh, you may notice that uh, the way the upload was set here uh, was that, um, uh, unlike uh, the last episode, the first one, that didn't have any lighting in it. Right now I have some lighting in my room right now. I just thought the upload would look so much prettier that way. Besides, it is kind of cloudy uh, outside, so I figured why not. And, and as I uh, said, for this series I'm going to be reviewing an album by an artist. Starting out with mostly older albums, like my favorite older albums from uh, a artist. So today's artist is a is a band formed by James Mercer uh, back in the late '90s, uh, starting out in the late '90s and the early 2000s. Uh, named James Mercer, who started out working in a project called Flake Music in the 1990s. And, uh, originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now they, now they live in the hometown of Portland, Oregon. Again, uh, again, uh, the band that we know today as The Shins. Uh, uh, started out with a lineup of Marty Crandall on keys, James Mercer on vocals and guitar, uh, Neil Langford on bass, and said Jesse Sandoval on drums, drums as well as Dave Hernan, Dave Hernandez who played guitar and bass too. Marty occasionally played bass too. Uh, so I'm gonna review my favorite album by them, released on January 23rd, 2007. The album was called Wincing the Night Away. This album was released on Sub Pop Records. Uh, that was the Shins' first record label. Now they've left Sub Pop and now moved to like their own record label. And now they've signed Columbia Records. Now, now, so this is the third album by the Shins and the last album to be released on Sub Pop Records after the band left uh, that record label back in 2008. And to be honest, Sub Pop, even though it's a very small record label, actually happens to be one of my favorites right now. There's just been great older albums released on there. So here's the cover. Really cool cover art on here. Very abstract. Spine. And then here's the back of the CD. The songs on here are Sleeping Lessons, Australia, Panberry. Phantom Limb, Sea Legs, Red Rabbits, Turn On Me, Black Wave, Spilt Needles, Girl Sailor, and A Common Appears. The album is produced by Joe Cicarelli, I think it's, I, I don't know uh, what is the right way to pronounce it. Because, uh, you know, it's pretty uh, darn complicating to, complicated to say. Uh, also, James Mercer co-produced the album. Uh, this album is a bit more diverse than a lot of the Shins albums. Uh, I'll go into more detail about it later. But anyway, here's the inside of it. And uh, there's more artwork. And... Um, the CD itself is right here. And under that disc is basically nothing. Here's a little... There are a couple of things in, in here. Um, before I show you the booklet, it's got this Shins like sticker. has ads for the first two Shins albums, which are O Inverted World and uh, Shoots to Narrow. Uh, 
pretty much every Shin's album is different from the other because O Inverted World was a more keyboard driven album while Shoots to Narrow had a more acoustic background on a lot of the songs. And this album is very experimental because of the diverse production and instrumentation, which I'll talk about later, as I said. There's like some kind of rainbow going on in the artwork on this. It's got lyrics for all the songs, which is really cool. Gotta have the lyrics in your CD. And then, the end of the booklet, it's got the credits. Also like it when it shows the personnel for what instrumentation was used and who uh, played on the album. Uh, you gotta have that as well as the lyrics. Just want to be fair otherwise for that, too. And, you put all this back in here. So, I gotta talk about the tracks now. Uh, there are a lot of songs uh, that kind of get more interesting as they go. I keep getting more epic. That's what a lot of the tracks kind of do on the album. And that's what I love about a lot of this album. Tracks like Sleeping Lessons, Phantom Limb, uh, Sea Legs, um, uh, just songs like that. Uh, this kind of build really nicely, in my opinion. And then there are catchier, more upbeat tracks, like the single Australia, I feel like is the most upbeat song on the album, and uh, the track sounds great. Catchy, quirky, upbeat track, and I kind of see why it became a single right after Phantom Limb. Of Limb because it sounds so catchy and it sounds so radio-friendly, in my opinion. In my opinion. And then, uh, there's Panberry, basically an under-one-minute kind of track. The, uh, and, uh, act, the track sounds cool, even though it's only, like, 50 minutes, 50 seconds long. Long, it sort of plays in the Phantom Limb, uh, and on the songs Phantom Limb and Turn On Me, uh, there's sort of this interesting thing going on in the drum. This interesting thing going on in the drums. This is got the floor toms in there. It's got sort of this stomping kind of thing going on. Uh, as well as on the songs Built Needles, which is definitely probably the most rock sounding song on the album. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then, uh, there's, uh, a couple of ballads on the album. Red Rabbits and, uh, A Comet Appears. Red Rabbits is a beautiful song, and, and then there's some instrumentation on the song. It sounds great. Um, like, there's a string section on it that I really enjoyed. Uh, hey, all that. And, uh, A Comet Appears. Uh, kind of has more of a folk rock kind of vibe to it. Oh, uh, with kind of the drumless uh, ballad, like basically talking about the drumless ballads here, like the songs that have hardly any drums in them, in them since they're kind of quiet kind of tunes. Uh, there's a hammer dulcimer on the track, um, track as well as uh, a little bit of brass in here too. And Black Wave is kind of quiet, too. Too, that has hardly any drums in it. And, uh, then, uh, there's Girl Sailor, which kind of has this kind of summery, kind of sunny kind of vibe to it. It's a little more sunny than a lot of the tracks on here. Tracks on here just kind of makes you feel like, uh, when you're, like, relaxing, uh, on a hot summer day, uh, day, uh, in the sun with, like, a beach towel. That's kind of what I envisioned, uh, whenever I, when I listen to this track. Uh, it just makes you 
pretty much like the feel good track on the album. The album and Sea Lakes. Um, I can say that the best song on the album, hands down, is Sea Lakes. Uh, it's uh, like it's got a cool beat going on here. There's like uh, a hip hop beat going on here, supplemented with real drums. Uh, real drums, and it just gets uh, more interesting as the song goes on. I feel like once you get to the song's Phantom Limb and uh, Sea Legs, I feel like is when the album just gets more interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. So, my favorite track on here is Sea Legs. Some of my other favorites on the album include, um, okay, uh, Sleeping Lessons, Phantom Limb, Australia, uh, Turn On Me, Spilt Needles, uh, Needles, uh, Red Rabbits, uh, and Girl Sailor. Those are probably my favorites on the album. Uh, this album, I feel like, uh, it's, uh, pretty, it's a really good album, and it just gets more interesting the more tracks you keep on listening to from this album. There's more diverse instrumentation, like there's use of the ukulele, banjo, uh, some extra electronics, and programmed drums, and uh, there's uh, like a xylophone thingy kind of going on in a couple of tracks. That's actually credited as a cat piano um, in the booklet. Uh, like it could be like a toy piano or a xylophone or something like that. So I'm gonna give this album, uh, I'm gonna give this album an eight out of ten uh, rating, uh, rating, cause I really like this one. Uh, this one, uh, no doubt about that. Um, that and. Uh, about that, and uh, it's probably one of the most interesting albums I've I've heard. Uh, that's from 2007. Uh, and there you go. That's my review. And that's going to wrap it up for episode two of Album of the Day. Uh, and uh, soon I will figure out uh, what to review next on Album of the Day. But anyways, that's that. That's it for all.